Wondering why your AC is constantly getting hot and cold? Could it be caused from the solenoid compressor that is on my vehicle? Well, stick around. We'll be discussing the solenoid versus the clutch compressor in this video. Before I go any further, let me just quickly familiarize you with the compressors. What you're looking at here are two compressors. Over this side we have the solenoid compressor and this is the solenoid valve. It goes in here. This part is really the problematic part of the compressor. This is what goes bad and would need to be replaced as soon as it goes bad. Over on this side we have the clutch compressor. On top here we have the clutch. Then we have the pulley. And inside the pulley that green circular part is called the bearing. And the bearing can be replaced. This right here is the coil. And the coil can also be replaced or rewired. So keep those in mind as we go straight in the video. Now that you know what the two compressors look like, let us just continue now with some more information. So a clutch compressor is a traditional compressor that works on older model vehicles. Even though there are some newer model vehicles that still use the clutch compressor. But most of them use the solenoid compressor. Now let's say that a customer has an Axio and takes that Axio to AC King because the AC is not working properly or maybe not working any at all. And they need to find out what is wrong. So the first thing that we will do is to have the vehicle assist. Now let's say that the assessment reveals that the problem lies with the compressor we will then proceed to highlight the customer, give the customer um, some basic information, some basic crucial information that they would need to make an informed decision. Mind you, there are some customers who come who already know that the solenoid valve can be changed and um, that the solenoid compressor itself can be replaced with another solenoid compressor but there are just a few of them who know that the compressor can be replaced with a clutch compressor and um, for that reason we would need to update them with this information so that they can make the best decision possible um no using a solenoid compressor i can really only think of one advantage and that is the fact that it is smoother on the engine let's say by a 5% margin and what I mean by this is that when the vehicle is operating and you turn on the AC you don't really hear that click when the compressor engages but with the clutch compressor however you might hear when the compressor engage and that is if you're on the outside of the vehicle however when you are in the cabin you will not hear that sound now another very important thing to keep in mind is that the solenoid compressor should not be purchased used right so don't go to the used parts store and get a used solenoid compressor to put in your vehicle or some persons might take it to another level and get a used solenoid valve to replace the one that has gone bad in their vehicle. No, that is just a bad idea, right? Because you don't want to waste your money. It's, it's really wasting money and wasting time in installing a used one, used one that probably when you're finished doing so it will not even work and not only with the used one to be very honest with you that is why um, 
replacing it without replacing the valve or replacing the compressor with another type of that compressor is a risky business because most of the times or I would say a lot of the times you may um, replace the valve or the compressor and at the end of doing so you might find that it does not work or it might work for let's say a one week for you or a one month or two months two months you you just do not know um, what the end result is going to be and you really don't want to take that risk right there are some persons who might get a long life from it and there are some persons who it may work for them for the short term but you really do not know because these compressors have a mind of their own they will work and stop work and work and stop until they decide that they're not going to work anymore and just come to a full stop right so we always recommend that you change or replace the solenoid compressor with a clutch compressor and you will not have that issue right um, even though we recommend that we also listen to the customer so the, the final decision lies with the customer so if the customer wants to change the valve or replace it with another solenoid compressor then it is their decision but we always ensure that they have a very clear understanding of the pros and the cons of doing so right okay so when you if you decide for example that you're going to use back a solenoid compressor now buying the new one can be recommended right buying a new solenoid compressor as opposed to a use used solenoid compressor however the cost to buy a genuine which we would recommend a genuine um solenoid compressor is ridiculously high it can range anywhere between 150,000 Jamaican to 200,000 Jamaican dollars. Now, when you really think about it, why spend so much money on something that is unsure? And mind you, that is just the cost of the part. You will still need to pay to have it installed wherever you go. Plus, you would need to service your AC. And this is something that you should bear in mind that you should never under any circumstance allow anyone to install a new compressor on your vehicle without servicing the AC um, and what I mean by that is to change the dryer the receiver dryer now there are some vehicles that use a bag and there are some that use a can and that comes on the on the condenser the bag comes in a little canister that is on the condenser right and you also have the can dryer that needs to be um, changed whenever you're installing a new compressor because remember that the, the the receiver dryer is the filter and it catches the breakdown when the compressor is damaged right and so you would not want to install a new system and have the old dryer on the vehicle because that will in turn contaminate the system and you will end up um, with the same prob problem again right so the clutch compressor which is the better option is more durable it can handle the everyday up and down it can take more roughness and even if you miss your service date it will not fail you however you would still need to service your ac as soon as you get the chance to now should anything go bad in the future with the compressor the cost to replace the compressor or a part of the pulley assembly 
right um is very very affordable very affordable compared to the cost you would pay to replace the solenoid valve on a more frequent basis so there you have it the solenoid compressor versus the clutch compressor the clutch compressor is the better choice by far it is more durable it is more cost effective and you will get a longer life um, from the clutch compressor as opposed to the solenoid compressor and remember when you come to AC King all the parts are available there right so you don't have to be running up and down everything is available at AC King so there you have it I hope you are better informed and you will be better able to make a decision when it comes on to um, replacing the compressor on your vehicle thanks so much for watching watching